We didn't have a bass track in here yesterday, so I wasn't able to show you guys the cool new bass amp designer, brand new. So what came up with the sound uh, through the patch uh, was the Logic DI, it looks like a tube box DI, direct box. So it's got some cool controls on it. Let's do some bo boost, some presets for tone or shape. High frequency cut to dull it out maybe. But we wanted to look into more sort of an amp so that would fit the song. So same thing as with uh, uh, the guitar amp designer. We've got a couple different ways that we can switch. We can change the overall model. We can change just the amp, so like the, the head uh, amplifier component, or the cabinet, meaning the speaker cabinet. So what we did is first look for one that would work, and a couple great options here. A modern amp, again, looks familiar to me from a different company besides Logic. Classic amp, uh, this is, I'm not even gonna try to avoid saying what it is. This is an SVT and I think it's the best emulation of one that I've ever heard. Um, this is the amp that we love to use in the recording studio, the probably the one that we use the most would be a old uh, Ampeg tube uh, SVT amp with the 810 matching cabinet that you'll see over on the side. I thought this was great so we end up using this one for part of it. And as this goes, let me do another thing here. I want this to solo or cycle around there. So with this region selected, I'm gonna command and U, which is gonna readjust my locators. And I can hit C to bring up the cycle. And command and U, it's the set locators. So, bass playing. What amp is this, Rob? What amp does this look like to you? Uh, that looks like a... The SBT, right? Yeah. You got it. Um, so, oh, sorry. Yeah. SBT, yeah, right? SBT, yeah. You, you can call out, and since you're the bass player in the house, you can call out when you see the amps that you're right. familiar to. But this is the one that I said we wanted to use. I'm going to come back to it. We also have the flip top amp, which is another old vintage amp uh, that I'm pretty familiar with. Um, tons of great controls with that one. And again, our drop, uh, our direct box. I'm going to go back to classic amp for a minute and show you some stuff. Um, again, great things we can mix up the two so I can use this wonderful 810 cabinet or look at some of the other ones, a modern just 15 inch bottom of a stack type thing or the 10, even this small treble speaker. Classic cabinets, the flip top cabinet, that flip top and then also some of the direct options with it as well. Go back to the cabinet that goes with this one. And notice EQ controls, common, bass, mid, treble. We knew we wanted to kill, uh, get rid of a couple things. This has some great switches with it, the original amp did, as far as a mid shift of frequencies that it's boosting, which we'll notice some big differences with. Also, a low switch, high switch, a compressor built into it. The gain setting to it and an overall gain. Bright switch, a couple different options on the input as well. And then let us bring up one of a couple different other kinds of EQ. Some of these models have this graphic EQ, which I like. You can roll out some stuff, add some others, or use a more traditional type EQ and put it pre or post in the circuit as well so we can have it, you know, in the gain stage or after. So very handy use of the EQ there. Just like uh, what I said we saw with the guitar amp designer, we also have microphone choices of condenser, U87, the dynamic RE20, or a 421, which I love, and the ability to move it close proximity, far, move it left and right in the speaker as well. Really cool. And the whole time, we can go between that direct box we saw and an amplifier and do a blend. So if we want sort of, some people love the sound of just the direct, some want the amp, and a cool little blend between the two of them. Love it, and it totally changed the way we sounded from that original kind of lifeless electric bass just plugged in direct too. And again, this is, uh, this is not a real bass. 
meaning it's not an actual four string instrument. What we're working with here, or Mikey was, is the EXS24 sampler and a fingerstyle electric bass sample playback. So pretty impressive with that.